Brother lads, welcome back to the Kosi Arsenal podcast. My name is Kosi. We'll come back to a brand new video. This is the latest Arsenal news and transfer news as well. This is the Arsenal transfer roundup where we dive into the biggest stories of the day. Now, Arsenal have offered a new offer to Chido Obi Martin. However, the player is still exploring deals from Bayern, from Dortmund, and a couple of other clubs, including Balevacuzen. But Arsenal have given him a new offer. Mikel Atta is pushing for Chido Obi Martin to stay one of the most talented players, one of the most talented young strikers uh, in the Arsenal hierarchy. The player wants a pathway, a clear pathway. He wants to know that if he comes from the academy, he's either going to become, you know, one of those important players at Arsenal. He doesn't want to be like the likes of Omar Hutchinson. Otherwise, he lives right now. We'll be talking about Ricardo Calafiori. Um, a deal is progressing for Ricardo Calafiori. Arsenal making advancements on personal terms. Lokonga as well has agreed personal terms with Severe and Mikel Arteta is definitely agreeing to, uh, to, to to sign a new deal at Arsenal. That should be finalized very, very soon. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel as well. Lots of stories that have happened today. And let's start off with the Chido Obi Martin story because for me, that is the one that really, really matters at the moment. I wanted Chido Obi Martin to, to stay. And Fabrizio has just said this, that he understands Arsenal have now improved their offer. Uh, for Chido Opi Martin to keep him at the club. Ateta is pushing for him to stay 100%. No agreement yet as pathway is very key for Chido Obi Martin. The player is still exploring uh, bids from Bayern, Borussia Dortmund and more uh, uh, and more bids before deciding including Balevacuzen as well. Now we have a problem guys. We have a problem here. Chido Obi Martin is one of the most talented young kids on planet Earth. I'm not even saying in the Arsenal Academy or Helen on planet Earth. The way Jamal Musiala was, uh, you know, I think misappropriately handled by Chelsea, um, you know, and Manchester United and the England uh, youth system. This could be a very similar option. This could be a very similar story uh, with Chido Obi Martin. I've already said you've got to keep talents like that. There are times when I agree that the club has to bite the bullet. Not everyone is going to make it to uh, the top ranks. But Chido Obi Martin is a crazy player. Arsenal have got to do whatever it takes to keep him. Regardless um, of whether he wants more money, regardless of whether we are fighting with Bayern, Dortmund, we've got to keep him. And that is actually the first problem. Arsenal have exposed this boy to clubs like Dortmund. Dortmund is like, Dortmund is the heaven. Of young kids every young kid uh, wants to go through that development process that uh, you know development hierarchy at Borussia Dortmund so if Dortmund come in for a player like Chido Obi Martin trust me you're gonna have a big problem Bayern I'm not really uh, I'm not really worried um, about Bayern I think we can beat them uh, to the signing of the player but I think th the fact that Mikel Arteta is involved we might see him maybe trying to you know convince him that by the time he's maybe 19 20 he's going to be able to uh, you know try out a few sessions with the uh, with the, with the, uh, uh, with the first team with a uh, first squad Th that is what the player is asking for he's saying I don't want to end up like Omar Hutchinson. I don't want to end up with my, my future undecided. I'd rather go to a club like Dortmund that I know I'm going to develop into a very good prospect. I want, I'd want. rather go to a club like uh, Leverkusen, Benfica, that I know I'm going to develop into a very good prospect. And you cannot blame Chido Obi, Obi Martin for that. Look at what happened to Omar Hutchinson. He comes from Arsenal, he goes to Chelsea, and then he's at Ipswich. I, I think Omar Hutchinson could have been like a, uh, you know, a Jamal Musiala. Very talented player. So Jamal Musiala, you look at his development, um, you know, and then he's now one of the star players at, at Bayern. So that's what Chido is saying. I want to be a star player uh, because, you know, when I grow up, for a club like Dortmund, for a club like Bayern, for a club like Arsenal. So can you guarantee me that? Let's see. But Arsenal have offered him a new deal and they have made a new offer for Chido Obi Martin. And that absolutely makes me very happy. One other thing that makes me happy today in the transfer roundup is that Arsenal have now gotten the green light from Ricardo Calafiori. He wants to sign for us. He's open to joining Arsenal this summer. And personal terms are being uh, you know, decided as, as we speak. However... I think the most important part of this deal right now is that Juventus have just confirmed for 45 to 50 million euros that has been set as the asking price for Bologna. They are out. Italian outlets have, have just confirmed that um, Juve, unless there is a dramatic change in the uh, in the structure of this deal, unless, unless there is a dramatic change uh, you know, of events, Juventus will not be signing Ricardo Calafiore. Not only because Bologna don't want to sell, because I think... Um, 
uh, even if Bologna didn't want to sell, but the player was 100% locked onto Juventus, the, the two clubs would have found a way. I mean, I don't think there is uh, a nuclear war between Bologna and Juve. It's not a nuclear war. It is, um, I mean, it's, it's a bit of emotional uh, reactions between the two clubs, between, between the two hierarchies. Uh, at some point in time, you find a consensus. But Juventus think that deal is very expensive for them. They're not paying 50 million euros uh, for the player. Now, Arsenal have not made any official bids yet. They're still preparing their first bid, but they're also still talking to the player regarding personal terms, which shouldn't be a problem at the moment. If the player agrees to uh, you know, sign for you, he thinks uh, you're a good project, he thinks that uh, you know he, he can develop well, I think personal terms are not very difficult for a player like Ricardo Calafiori. He's not going to ask for 200000 a week. I can guarantee you that. I think in terms of wages, we'll talk about this uh, with Glenn at exactly 9.15 today, so make sure you join us live. But in terms of wages, he's, he's going to be earning around 90000 to 120000 initially. If he does well and then he gets to that level of William Saliba... Uh, you know Gabriel Magales, the likes of David Dreyer, then we could see him rise to 150,000, um, up to 170,000. But at the moment, wages, salary, uh, you know, player, you know, player terms and conditions, that will not be a big problem. The problem was Juventus, and Arsenal have just gotten a free run to uh you know to recall Calafiori. All reports, all outlets now, including Fabrizio, The Athletic, uh The Guardian and Sky Sports, can confirm that Arsenal are the most likely destination for Ricardo Calafiori. So regardless of what happens, regardless of what um uh, is going to change in the next 24 hours, if Arsenal can agree a deal with Bologna, we shall get to sign Ricardo Calafiore. So that is where we are uh, on this deal. I've done a, 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 a long live stream reacting to this one. You can go and check it out where we talked about uh, the players, uh, you know, what that means for, uh, for the deal, the player giving us a green light. Uh, it also means that Bologna understand that Arsenal want to sign this guy uh, because they have given us permission to talk to him. They have also uh, set the price as quickly as possible. So if Arsenal can go and agree the deal, then 100% that is going to be done. Still today in the transfer roundup, uh, Albert Sambila Conga has agreed personal terms with Sever. Arsenal are in the final stages of uh, this deal uh, with Sever, trying to agree uh, where exactly... Uh, is uh, the money going to come from? Is it going to come from an option to buy or is it going to come from an obligation to buy? Albert Sambila Conga has given his green light to, to Severe. Personal terms, not a problem now. Uh, for the, Between Lokonga and Severe, that deal should be done a little bit quickly. Now, the only thing I didn't like about this deal today, uh, the only update I didn't like about this deal that has actually come out today, is the fact that they're saying Lokonga might go to Severe on a potential loan deal with an option to buy, not an obligation. That is ridiculous. Purely, purely ridiculous. And again, um, it kind of points to Arsenal's weakness in the transfer window in terms of selling players, in terms of, uh, you know, offloading players. When other clubs come in and, well, you know, they want to take our players away, all of a the sudden, they think they can pay $10 million for uh, for Aubameyang. They feel, they feel like they can pay $2 million for Messi Rosio. They think they can take um, our players for the smallest and cheapest amounts uh, there is. But when we get to sign players, when we want other players from other teams, think about it. Rice, $100 million. Odegaard, $30 million. Ben White, $50 million. Zinchenko, a player that Manchester City were not using. Um, you know, a, he was a fringe player. Uh, you know, thirty-five million. Dreyer, twenty-seven million. When do we get to get? Uh, when do we get to sell players like these other clubs? Because you might say Brentford, um, that is a selling club. Dortmund, that's a selling club. But what about Man City? What about Man City that do not sign players to sell them, but they sign players to will uh, help them win leagues? And when they get to offload some of these players, Sterling, fifty million. Gabriel Jesus, fifty million. Zinchenko, 35 million. Julian Alvarez, at the moment, linked with uh, a move away, 80 million. Um, who else? Who else? I mean, 50 million for Edison. Why do Arsenal accept to be stepped on during negotiations in uh, transfer dealings where we are selling? How come that we are the club? We are the only club on planet Earth that have the worst selling strategy. Chelsea, good selling. Man United, I would say um, bad selling, but Man United have sold a player for 80 million. That is Cristiano Ronaldo, 80 million and above.
Cristiano Ronaldo. So we are the worst selling team in the world. I'm sorry. There is no team that sells as bad as, as Arsenal. There's no team. I think we've got to fix that. Players like Lokonga, Arsenal are not under, un, under any pressure uh, you know, to offload him. Arsenal are not under any pressure whatsoever uh, you know, to, to, to agree a deal in July. That is a deal that can be ag agreed as well um, in August. If they don't want to include an obligation to buy, if they don't want to commit uh, you know, to, to buying him, let us not give them our player. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So Albert Sambilakonga, personal terms are great, but Arsenal and Sevilla are in final stages trying to decide whether it's going to be an option to buy or an obligation to buy. For me, it's ridiculous. It should be an obligation to buy for not less than 13 million. If we can get that deal done, uh, that means that we are, we are maturing a little bit. But if we are bullied into another option to buy, like it was with Quarantini when he went to Real Sociedad, um, I'm not even interested in hearing how uh, the deal is going to end. I'm really not interested. Now, uh, the other stories on um, the transfer roundup today, Mikel Arteta has said yes to a new deal at Arsenal. Is going, to, is going to continue to be Arsenal manager, regardless of a few people thinking that Arsenal will not win anything under Mikel Arteta. He's going to continue to be our boss. Um, and his new deal obviously has not been uh, decided, but he's already given the green light for his team to go and agree terms and conditions with Arsenal. Before the new season, we shall hear that our manager, our gaffer, has now agreed a new deal and has signed a new deal at the club. This is very important, and I think uh, many players want to know what is the future of the project you're running? And, um, you know, how reliable is the project? And also, who's going to be the manager that I'm going to be playing under? When you think about the players Arsenal have signed, Kai Havers, a call with Mikel. Odegaard, a call with Mikel. Rice, a call with Mikel. Gabriel Magalis, a call with Mikel. Raya, a call with Mikel. Um, Zinchenko, a call with Mikel. Gabriel Jesus, a call with Mikel. So it shows you that Mikel Arteta is not only integral to this Arsenal project, he is the Arsenal project. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. I was watching a, a football documentary on Robin Van Persie yesterday. And Robin Van Persie's first season was f absolutely flamboyant for Manchester United. In that season, at the end of that season, Sir Alexander Chapman Ferguson leaves and Robin Van Persie vanished from football. Like, he just vanished. I, we don't know what happened to him. He just vanished. But Rio Ferdinand said... Among all the players at Man United, the departure of Sir Alexander Chairman Ferguson affected Robin Van Persie the most. He, he saw it like a betrayal. He, saw, you know, he, he didn't recover. So if Mikel Arteta is sacked right now, these players that you see play very well, these players that you see hugging each other and believing in each other and believing uh, that there is something that's going to happen at Arsenal, they are believing because... Mikel Arteta is there. They're believing because they have a manager that has a vision, but also he's got that charisma to make other people believe in the vision. So when you think about a manager like Frederick, Frederick Lundberg, I don't think Lundberg had the vision. I mean, he was just interim for a short time, but even if he, had, he was given that job, I don't think he would have had the vision. When you think about a manager like Unai Emery, that one had the vision. We just didn't back him. So you must have a manager with a vision, and then you back him for you to succeed. Mikel has got the vision. He's got the charisma to implement that vision. He believes. And even Pep Guardiola works really cool about him all the time. He's going to, he's going to take over the Premier League. He's going to take over the Premier League. He's a, a, an intelligent, smart guy that has revived Arsenal in all directions and in all aspects. The respect I have for Mikel these days, I don't even want to talk about him. I just want to let him do his work. As simple as that. Have you seen me complain about Arsenal not doing signings? Why are we not doing signings? I've not done that. Because the re respect I have for Mikel and Edu these days is top class. Top notch. So Mikel, I'll bring a new deal. I would give him a 10-year deal, honestly. I would give him a 10-year deal. Uh, look, winning has never been closer to Arsenal's face than it is right now. If Arsenal don't win silverware in the next five years, I will quit YouTube. If we don't win you know, the Premier League, I don't want to say silverware, the Premier League in the next five years, I'm quitting YouTube because you know we are going to win it. Even next season, 
we are among the favorites to win it because of Mikel Arteta. Now, uh, let's talk about the mystery player. Today on the transfer roundup, Arsenal still have been uh, linked with um, a transfer to a mystery player in Germany that is very close. And Arsenal are trying to get that deal done before other clubs can hijack it. Arsenal have decided they are not going to relieve, uh, reveal the player. That mystery player, guys, in my opinion, that mystery player is Joshua Kemet. Joe Palina has just signed for... Um, Joe Palina has just signed for Bayern in a deal that has cost Bayern 56 million euros. Imagine this. They have Kimmich at 29 years of age. How old is Joe Palina? Joe Palina is 29. Kimmich is 29. So, you can see, Kimmich has hit the, rain, uh, the end of the road at Bayern. It's over. So that mystery player might as well be Kimmich. Now that Joe Palinha has gone there, I can see, uh, look, I can see that theory coming through. If it's Kimmich, we'll get to know after the Euros because that's what they're saying. The player signs after the Euros. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and join me with Glenn. We are live right now at exactly 9.15 as we run through Ricardo Calafiore to Arsenal. Personal terms, very close.